From Alliance, Ohio, where the Wesley College Wolverines have seen their season come to an end with a 62-59 loss to the University of Mount Union. Sean Green alongside Jason Bowen. And Jason, the game was 31-0, and you know, you'd be hard-pressed for anyone in the stadium to think the game still was going to be a game, but yet Wesley turns it into a classic. You know, you talk about this Wesley team this year. They've fought and clawed all year long. They've never quit. And I think this game was symbolic of their season. They came up a little bit short, but they gave Mount Union all they could handle. I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever scored 59 points on Mount Union. It just it wasn't enough, but, boy, it was a great football game. And, you know, great job by both teams as uh, Mount Union advances to the semifinals to take on North Central next week. For Mount Union, their first quarter was much like Wesley's game against Birmingham Southern earlier this year. I know you weren't at it, but Mount Union scores in their first two offensive plays of the game. B.J. Mitchell with a 67-yard touchdown run, which seemed to set the tone right off the bat. They would score on a punt return and then on an interception pick six to lead 31-0 after the opening quarter. But then Joe Callahan goes to work. Three touchdown passes to make it a 28-point game going in to halftime and then throws two touchdowns to in the third quarter to really set things up. When you look at his final numbers, uh, it looks like something right out of Madden as he throws for 633 yards, the fourth most ever in Division Three history, eight touchdowns, the most ever in a postseason game, and you know was 35 of 52, so really accurate along the lines as well, despite the four interceptions. Yeah, I mean, this is a really interesting, how do you look at this game if you're Wesley? Uh, you know, you turn the ball over... Um, four times or five times six actually. times six with the two times fumbles with the two fumbles too and you're still only three points away you know do you look at that hey we're close um, as a disappointment or after you're down 31 nothing in the first quarter when you have no right getting back into the football game and you climb all the way back and it's just I don't know it's it's the, the this team has been they just haven't quit all year and if you listen to the broadcast they didn't quit today until the clock went double zeros, they still thought they could win that football game. If you had told anybody that at 31 nothing it would come down to an onside kick that Mount Union would recover in the final 90 seconds and they were finally able to run out the clock to finally squash the Wesley bug. Some of the other numbers here, Steve Caduso, 11 catches for 273 yards. That's a Wesley school record. And two touchdowns, Jamar Baynard, who ended up getting hurt in the second half for Wesley, ends up with three touchdowns receiving. He didn't have any coming into this game and became that nice outlet because Joe Callahan was running for his life against a very fierce pass rush of Mount Union today. Yeah, Mount Union came after Callahan. And in the second half, it really... First, he was very creative in the second half in the pocket. He had great pocket presence, and he moved around very well, and he was able to find Baynard a few times um, as the outlet receiver. Uh, with the, the Wesley screen game was really good. He gained quite a few yards on a few screens. And, yeah, bright future for him, the freshman out of Middletown, Delaware. Well, when you look at what the difference between a championship program and Wesley wanting to get to that level where they can win a national championship, turnovers can be the factor. And minus six on the road and to lose by three points. You think about the disappointment Wesley had back in 2011 when Shane McSweeney had the fantastic game, but Wesley came up seven points short. And it was a three-point game back in 2009 in the fourth quarter, but yet Wesley just can't seem to get over the hump here in Alliance. You know, well, they're the machine. They're the most successful football program in college football. There's no doubt about that. And but I, I heard Mike talk in the pre-game press or post-con press conference. He, you know, Alliance really isn't that far away. And you know, I asked Pete Fredberg from Mary Harden Baylor, "How are you going to get past a Mountain Union or a Whitewater?" And he said, "You got to keep getting there." So the Wolverines keep getting there. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to punch through. Well, for Mountain Union, they move on now to the national semifinals, and they've got some serious work to do in their secondary. Yes, Wesley's got some of the, the fastest players in Division Three, but they can't be happy giving up 633 yards. Yeah, Vince Vince Karras was very, I don't know if he was angry or just um, in shock in the post-conference, but very little to say in the post-conference. A very, very subdued press conference uh, for Mountain Union. But I think the one steady guy, and you can see that in the press conference that they have, is is Kevin Burke, who Mike Dress called you know the best player in Division Three football. And, and he did that. He stabilized. When Mountain Union needed a big play today uh, to get a touchdown, a couple third down and long touchdowns inside the red zone where Burke took it himself and ran and, and took it in. And, you know, 
that's why he's Kevin Burke. He's been a great player for these last two years, and he's the leader on this football team, and you got to respect him. His final number, 16 of 27 for 280 yards and three touchdowns. There's 11 incompletions. I can think of at least four drops. So those numbers much better, and certainly playing you know to that level as somebody who would be the best player in Division Three, and we'll have to see. And you know, the old saying is sometimes the best thing that can happen is you get punched in the mouth and then you can come back. Mountain Union gives up a lot of points, but hey, they're playing next week against a North Central team, so we'll see what the, the corrections they make. That should be a very interesting football game. Going to be fun to watch. But here from Alliance, Ohio, again our final score, the Wesley College Wolverines falling to Mountain Union by the score of 62-59. to For Jason Bowen, my name is Sean Green, and we hope to see this on D3Football.com.